Hello everyone, Vickers Town Videos here. Today I'm doing a review of the Thomas Motorized Thomas and Terence. I'm a bit late making this review because I really struggled to find this. I really did. I've seen other YouTubers who uploaded reviews of this item weeks and weeks ago and I couldn't find it. I was looking everywhere and I finally found it recently and I just had to make a video on it. And I would usually buy two or three of these to keep mint in box, but I honestly was so surprised to even find one of these. Supplies have been really, really short. Here's one side of the box, and here's the other. And here's the top. Here they are out of the box, and let's take a more in-depth look at these individually. Here's the Thomas that came in my set, but I'm actually a bit disappointed in him and it might be difficult to see why now but I'll show you. He actually has several black marks around his side tanks. They really don't look good at all. His cab sticker was also put on crooked which really doesn't look nice. He has several scratches on his cab window also and there is a fair amount of scratching on the back of his cold bunker also. Um, it's very disappointing for me, but I wouldn't worry about this because I would imagine these are one in a million. I'd say this is very, very rare because I would say the standard for these toys and how they look is very, very high. So I'd say I just got a dud. I'd say mine is very rare. So I wouldn't stress about it too much. Now let's take a look at Terence and see if his comeback to the Thomas toy range has been successful and if it pleases the fans or not. Well, as a Thomas fan myself, I have been one since I was very young, I am very pleased with this Terence. He's actually very well detailed and the only thing that kind of looks missing is a driver. It may bother some people but it actually doesn't bother me that much because there wouldn't be a driver sitting on Terence's seat if he's being transported by rail. That just wouldn't happen, it's not realistic. And he actually has wheels underneath his caterpillar tracks as well, which is very handy because they would get scuffed and scraped a lot with kids pushing them along wooden floors or tiles. So it's nice how they did that because it means he can roll very easily without damaging his undercarriage. Very handy indeed. There's actually two plastic pieces on the flatbed that key into the bottom of Terence, so he won't roll off the flatbed while it's moving along the rails. Now let's take a look at this flatbed on its own. And it is well detailed, I mean it has floorboard detailing on top of it. And there's not much more you can do with a flatbed like this, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting much more. I wouldn't expect any more in fact from this. It's well detailed, it does its job, it's perfect. Moving on to the flatbed with the tree. Here's the flatbed that carries the tree. And much like the other one, it's, it's okay. You know, there's not much detail on it, but you can't put much on it. That's the thing. I mean, I'm sure people will find a way to moan and complain about this, but I'm not going to. Only thing I don't like about it is that it's not the full length of the new rolling stock, like the new Annie and Clarabelle. But apart from that, it's fine. It's fine. And it reminds me of those trucks you used to get with the Trackmaster 2, Real Steam, Thomas and Percy. The one that carried that little pipette with the water. Um, maybe that's just me. It just reminds me of that for some reason. I don't know why. Here's the tree and I really don't know what to say about this. I mean, it's well detailed and that's really all you want. So yeah, the tree is getting the thumbs up. And also Terence can be coupled up to this flatbed with the tree and he can pull it along also. So that's really good as well. Terence can actually be really useful in this three pack. That's really nice to see. Now let's give Thomas a run.
So, what do I think of this pack? Would I recommend it? My answer is yes, I would really, really recommend this pack. This really is en route to really good Thomas merchandise. This is what we're getting now. Imagine what we're going to be getting in a few months time. I think the merchandise is going to keep getting better and better. Aside from the all engines go, I'm going to put that in a completely different category. But the merchandise is getting better and I would really recommend this because we finally have a Terrence. When was the last time we had Terrence? I can't even remember. And the Thomas is a bit boring, but that wouldn't bother me. And you get the truck with the tree on it. It's a really nice set, some really nice pieces in there, and I would really recommend it. And thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.